Hello, everyone. How are you? Casey Zeman here. Let me know if you can hear me uh, or um, you should be able to see me pretty soon here. Let me just make sure that my audio is working right. You should be able to hear me okay. I just want to make sure. Here we go. Um, if you can hear me, put a one in the chat. If you can hear me, put a one in the chat. Let me just make sure. Maybe I have to speak up a little louder. I can hear you guys. I can see you guys. Great. Awesome. Skip and James, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. How's it going tonight? How are we doing? I uh, hope you guys are abundantly well. Casey here. Um, welcome to from wherever you're tuning in from, uh, whether you are from the States here in you know, the United States. I'm on the West Coast in Los Angeles. Um, it's 6 p.m. in my time, all is well. Maybe you're on the East Coast where it might be 9 p.m. Or maybe you are, we had uh, Nicholas in France. And wherever you might be, let me know. Put it in the chat where you're coming in and tuning in from. Um, so I'm excited about today. Thank you for being here. And uh, I'm excited because we're going to be wrapping up and finishing up with Daniela is here. We're finishing up with some uh, a nice live uh, Q&A about Easy Webinar. So if this is your first time coming into Easy Webinar, um, my name is Casey. I'm the founder of Easy Webinar. And uh, actually, I'm, I'm here in my office. I'm, I'm using my standing desk today instead of sitting down because sometimes it gets really annoying sitting down. So I have my standing desk up. I have my my compute, my my uh, Logitech C9 camera going. I have my uh, my nice mic here. This is the um, the Heil uh, like podcasting mic. It's a very very good mic, um, and we're ready to rock. Welcome, James from Seattle. Um, so I'm glad you guys are coming in. I see some more people rolling into the room right now. So welcome, welcome to all of you. And I can't wait to kind of dive in. Um, so we're going to be finishing up. As you probably know, you're someone who's been keeping tabs on what we've been doing this particular week. Um, we have been running um, an easy webinar promotion where you can get lifetime access to this new version that we have called Easy Webinar 5. Now, right now you are inside of an Easy Webinar 5 page uh, where we have live chat, we have offers. Uh, that I can push out and so on and so forth. So I am going to be going into a presentation. What I'm going to do right now is pass this over to you, uh, this particular workbook. So you should see on the page a workbook that I just delivered out to you. If you see it, um, let me know. Uh, hopefully you do see it. Um, also, I'm noticing a bit of a styling issue on the page itself. Now that's okay. Uh, my guys actually just added some stuff in just like yesterday, and that caused a style issue with this page. As I can, I can actually clearly see it. Do you guys still? Do you guys see the same issue as well? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to do something very cool, and I'm going to show you how I can switch around this page in real time. So let me let me go in and see if I can switch to a different theme. Um, this is literally because we swap some stuff around and that's why this is like that. We, we are moving at like lightning speed here. So that's probably why that happened. But let me quickly uh, change this theme to a different theme um, and see what that does. So I'm gonna go into my template funnel library. Okay, I'm gonna change out the theme to this particular theme right here. All right, actually, yeah, let's change it out to this theme. And I'm gonna click save and publish. And so that will, yeah, that should be fine. So save and publish. Now I'm gonna look at what that looked like now. Okay, that did change around what people are seeing. Now let me go in and uh, look what the uh, live page looks like as well. Hold on one second. Okay, now do me a quick solid, will you? Will you refresh this page? Um, all you have to do to refresh the pages, go up to the top and, and uh, essentially go to your scroll bar and click refresh. Okay, just click in there and come back in and you should see a different theme pop right in. Yeah, do that and let me know what you see after you do refresh the screen. All you have to do is refresh it. You know how to refresh. You just even just click in the link and click uh, return and you should be coming in there, uh, returning into the room um, right away. So do you see that? 
how we clicked refresh. Yeah. So it changes things around work. Nice. Yeah. So it will change things in real time. Again, the reason, the only reason why we have uh, that style issue there right now is because they literally just changed this around uh, today where we are just changing things up because right now, easy webinar five, we're, we're, we're at lightning speed, kind of getting all these little bugs and fixes and things like that. So yesterday, this same exact theme or the theme that we just were on was lo looking fine, but it's because they tweak certain things and it caused that. So we're going to send that off to them, but you should be able to see now, uh, the new version, uh, which is a different theme. So the cool thing about easy webinar is you can actually switch in midstream to a different theme. Do you see how I said that? Um, and it shouldn't affect anything. So if you ever have those moments that, that occur, you can switch stuff around and you'll notice if you do go back to the registration page or the thank you page, things look a little different there as well. Um, and if you want, I can kind of guide you. I can show you kind of what it looks like. Would you like to see that? Cause right now I'm just speaking it, but let's see here. Let me, let me quickly show, um, my screen so you can kind of see what I see. I'm, uh, going to go here. Okay. Select. Okay. So you should see my particular screen right now. I've just paused it, but, um, inside of easy webinar, which I'm in right here, right? I can go into, uh, edit an event as you can see right here and inside that event, I can change the theme. So right now I'm in my template funnel library. I just changed from this theme to this theme. And once I do, it will show me my different pages. So now this page looks like this. Okay. You can see how this looks right here. It's a little different than what, what you were looking at before, right? Here's the sign up. And you can see the thank you page, which is also a little different than the previous page, but you don't really have to do much. It keeps all the information. See, it still has my, uh, information right here and it has all the, the social share features, et cetera, et cetera. So let me just talk, turn that off. Um, so if I go here and click on the link, it'll bring me into the room where we are all hanging out right now. Yeah. Um, Yep, it, the screen is gonna be fuzzy because I'm I'm sharing multiple screens, right? I'm sharing multiple screens. So that, that's pretty much why you're gonna see that screen looking a little fuzzy. It also depends on where you're tuning in from. If your internet is a little slow, uh, that's why sometimes it could affect it. So let me bring myself back in. Okay, there we are. I'm, I'm back in the room now. Uh, it's me now without the without the, uh, the other screen. Hold on. Let me bring my mouse down. Okay. Let me close that down. There we go. Um, and, uh, so yeah, so that, there we go. So, um, I do see some questions coming in from James Milo said, when do current owners of V4 get access to V5? You get it right now, James. In fact, V5 version five is already available in your, uh, in your back office. So go in there, you have it in there right now. Once you go in there, you'll have access to it directly. Um, it's, it's ready to go for you. Uh, so once you log in, you'll have a unique URL that is for, uh, your, uh, easy webinar five, which is the self-hosted version, which is what we have for you. So the self-hosted version is in there. Now, the reason I keep looking back is I have a second monitor up here, right? You're maybe here. I'll show you. Hold on. Can you guys see that second monitor? <laughs> Not sure if you can. It's kind of meta. You should be able to, oh yeah, maybe you do a little, right? Yeah. So I have my second monitor over here. I know it's really weird to have a second monitor over there, but it's because I have this monitor right here that um, cut out on me. I just bought it a few days ago and suddenly it didn't work. So now I'm, I'm, I'm actually um, using my, my computer, my actual uh, TV monitor that's in my office here. Let me push that back. Wait, wait for it. Okay, there we go. So anyway, um, uh, it could be my internet connection. Yeah, Mike. Um, you know, oh, you know what? I'm not hardwired in. That's why. I just noticed that I'm not hardwired in. Now the internet should be okay. It might not be awesome, but uh, but it should be okay. Um, and 
it, it's probably because I'm not hardwired in and that's, that's why. So if I could suggest something to you, make sure you do get hardwired in if you're, if you're in fact uh, doing that. Um, but just so you know, yes, um, when you go in to, uh, to Easy Webinar, you get access to Easy Webinar 5 right away. Okay, you get access to it. Um, what you would do is you would create a unique URL. So you would create your app name for Easy Webinar 5 because you have to remember, Easy Webinar 5 is our self-hosted version. So as such, you go in there, okay, and you create a new app name, whether that's your business.easywebinar, excuse me, dot com, or it's maybe, um, yes, yes, exactly. Um, uh, yeah, that's right. You want to be hardwired in. Uh, performance on screen is terrible. What do you mean? It's not performing. Um, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Um, but uh, so you log in, you create a URL that's unique to your own. So your name dot easy dot com. OK, essentially. And then you'd have your new app name. You can start to build out your easy webinar five webinars, which are so hosted by us. All the emails are hosted by us. You don't have to integrate anything with WordPress. That that's pretty much uh, how things are working now. So that's that's what you get with this new version. And you have it automatically, James, right into your account right now if you already had version 4.0. Um, um, yeah, oh yeah. It might be just a little blurry as a, again, we I'm not hardwired in and I would always suggest that you do get hardwired into your uh, internet when you're doing a live stream. So things that you should know, things that you should, you should really um, know um, is that Easy Webinar is integrated with YouTube Live. Now, I'm using Google Hangouts integrated into YouTube Live because that's what is happening right now. So don't worry. I, I know a lot of people always wonder, is, is, uh, is Google Hangouts going away? And the answer is no. They're, they're, it's not going to go away, especially through YouTube. Now, YouTube may change Google Hangouts to quote unquote something else, but the app itself and the APIs of Google Hangouts Yes, you're not going to be able to to uh, work with it directly anymore, but you can work through YouTube, and that's what we integrate with right now. On YouTube, there is about a seven second delay, about a seven second delay. So I am, you know, you guys can tell that it's actually responding relatively quick, um, and that's also a, a, another issue as to why maybe it would be uh, a little blurry because. I did not, I, I set the latency. In YouTube, you can actually decide if you want to stream uh, in real time with, with uh, about zero uh, latency, or if you want to set it to 30 seconds or even a minute. Um, and what that allows, obviously, is a, is a better streaming. But YouTube is improving this all the time. Now, one thing I will say, though, is we're not just relying solely on YouTube to get better and better and better. We've actually been building for a year and a half our own WebRTC platform, WebRTC platform, okay, just as an FYI. Now, that platform is built from the ground up. It's streamed in, it has zero delay streaming. Now, the only problem with WebRTC is that it doesn't work on iOS, so mobile, you're going to have an issue, and, um, and it doesn't really work on Safari. So that's why we still have YouTube Live, which can do unlimited number of attendees, but we're also building out uh, WebRTC, so it's a, still an option for you to have. And while we do, we're also going to be creating an app as well and, uh, and a way to bridge it into working with Safari. But in the meantime, the beauty of what, how we have this integrated now is that because we work with YouTube Live, you can stream out to an unlimited number of attendees for live webinars. Now, that, why, that's cool because WebRTC, when we do roll that out, and in fact, every application that does have WebRTC or their own live stream app um, is on a monthly paid option. And it has a limit to how many users or viewers or attendees can come on. So when we roll this out, there will be a cap as to how many uh, users or attendees you can have. Uh, there will be a 100 person license that you can get monthly. Uh, there will be a uh, 500 uh, and a thousand. There will probably also be a 200 person license as well. And everybody who comes in into Easy Webinar, getting the lifetime access to Easy Webinar, which includes this version, they'll also be bumped into the WebRTC version, okay, which has the um, 
a hundred person limit in it. Okay, you'll get the that version and all the cool things that we do have coming up with this next version of Easy Webinar as well, which I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to love it. Um, but the cool thing is that as you, as you can very well see, we are looking two steps ahead, not just one step ahead, because obviously Easy Webinar 5 is brand spanking new and it just came out. But we've already had this other platform that we've been working on for a while as well. So that's coming out very, very soon too, which is really exciting because you're getting kind of the best of both worlds now. You're getting get both when you guys come in. Um, <clears throat> and that applies to anyone who is a, uh, a yearly paid customer. So if you pay the $4.97 a year or you pay the $5.77 a year, you also get access to that new version coming out. Now, something you should know, uh, Easy Webinar is both a live and automated webinar platform, meaning that it can do both. Right now, uh, James, I see you say, sorry, I don't have 577 at this time. It's okay, James. Um, nothing, no worries. You, you won't, you know, you'll, you, you won't have the opportunity to get in now, but you can get in of course, later on. That's of course, no problem. Or, you know, when we do have the monthly options available, yes, they'll be higher. They'll be, they'll be higher, but you might be able to come in at that time too. So, so don't even stress, uh, come in when it's right for you. Um, and that's what I always say to somebody. Um, but you know, the, the bottom line that I want to stress here is this though, if you have been looking for a platform that can do everything that you want in order to attract your, the audience that you're looking for and actually convert any type of person that is your audience into a coach or rather into a, a client maybe um, buying your products, maybe jumping into a coaching program of yours. This is a platform that does that. We have, as you may know, because I've said it before, we have over 6,800 customers. Actually, we now we have 6,900 customers. Um, and as such, many of those customers are using Easy Webinar for live webinars. Many of them are using it for automated webinars, and some are using them for both live and automated. Um, but, but I can, tell you without a doubt that whether you're using it for either option, you can make money from this platform. You can profit from this platform. In fact, many of the people that are profiting the most from this platform are using mostly the uh, automated feature of Easy Webinar, which if you don't know what an automated webinar is, it's essentially a webinar that streams in real time um, with kind of a look and feel and engagement of a live webinar, but without you having to be there. But your you can have uh, timed events going out, meaning you can have like buy now buttons or PDF show up at specific times. You can stream those events in your attendee zone, time zone, or your own. And it's a very, very powerful medium to send in essentially automated traffic using like Facebook ads, or it's, it's essentially, it it's the best funnel out there for attracting and building in leads into your business. And of course, then selling to your audience. And we have customers that use it all the time. We have Amy Porterfield, Devin Duncan, um, John Lee Dumas, uh, Rick Mulready, Dale Partridge, and so many others that are using it essentially um, for um, automated webinars. So uh, can you please clarify about the uh, version four, uh, then version five, then WebRTC is yet another product? Yes, James. So here, here's the idea. WebRTC is a new live stream platform that we have coming out very soon, right? That makes sense? So it, it's right now we integrate with YouTube Live for our live stream. In the future, we have our WebRTC platform, plus we have essentially it's kind of a, a new platform built from the ground up that everybody who gets Easy Webinar 5 will also get that one as well. That one has cool stuff uh, where you can do like live courses, um, evergreen courses as well. So anyway, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but the plan is to just continue to nurture you, to continue to give you um, the good stuff. So everybody who has a version, who, who is going to version five. Um, so so first, let me, let me preface this by saying it, uh, the new WebRTC is for all people that have the lifetime option of Easy Webinar and the new recurring uh, yearly paid customers. So if you're someone who has been on a, a yearly paid uh, cycle with Easy Webinar, you get 
automatically bumped up to WebRTC. If you paid a one-time price for EasyWebinar 4 a long time ago, we're adding you into this one, okay, EasyWebinar 5, but we are not gonna be adding you to that second one, just as an FYI. So you do get the awesomeness of this one, but those who do pay on a recurring basis, we're bumping you up into this one and that one as well. So I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so where did the timed event section go on the new version of EasyWebinar? I'm not seeing any uh, start or stop times, only a countdown clock. Yeah, so uh, in the new version, <clears throat> if you go live, if you're going live, um, it's going to ask um, how, how long do you want your, uh, your uh, timed event or offer to show up. And the reason you're not setting a, a, a time of when it comes in and when it leaves is because it's for a live webinar. And for a live webinar, um, all you have to do is create the offer ahead of time. And then you go into your easy webinar uh, live dashboard, where then you can unlock the offer to stream in real time. So let me give you an example. So uh, here we are. I'm going to give you this offer right now. Here's my infographic. Let me broadcast that. Okay, so you should see that right now. Okay, and um, and Dave, that that's how that works. So right now, I just rolled out a uh, um, sorry, a let me just make sure. Yeah, I just rolled out a uh, a little offer to you in real time. So that's how it works. It's for live, but when you're doing evergreen webinars, you still set the time that you want um, an offer to start and then end. Okay. Because remember, it's based on the show itself. Um, seeing nothing, uh, no infographic. Let me just make sure. Let me see here. Okay, do you... Uh, are you watching from your iPhone? Where are you watching from? Just want to make sure that you're... Uh, watching from the right place. Does anybody see the offer that I'm sending over? Just want to check on your laptop. Okay. Let me check here. Let me try this one. Okay. Do you see the offer now? It is the blue page. Uh, yes, that's that's the offer, right? Yes, with the graphic, that's right. And I just rolled in another one. It would be at the top of the chat. It would be at the top of the chat. So it should just pop right in at the top of the chat. Hmm, James, I'm not sure why you're not seeing it. That's, hmm, I don't know. But uh, Diane is saying she sees it. Uh, do other people see the chat? Let me know if you, or sorry, the offer. Let me know if you do see the offer. I just want to make sure. Um, um, and then James, maybe let us know what, um, where you're watching from. So whatever your, um, what, what, uh, what browser are you using? Just see it. That's it. Let's see a download now button. Yes. That's, that's the offer right there, James. That is the offer. That's what the offer is. That's what it is. Yes. That's what it is. So that's what I mean. You push the offer, you push them out. An offer can be anything. It can be a, a download button that you push out and then anybody can come, they click on it and it opens up like a free gift or anything like that. That's what I mean by offer. I think you're confused with what I meant by an offer. I'm just saying that timed events are, are things that you create ahead of time. Whether those are pre-created questions, whether those are download buttons that have a PDF assigned to them, whether those are infographics that have a, you know, a, a JPEG assigned to them, whether those are, um, uh, you know, whether those are buy now buttons that are signed, that send you off to the URL, those are offers. Okay. So it's not a problem with what we're doing. It's how you perceive an offer. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So anyway, um, let's move on. Uh, does it come with multilingual support? So here's the cool thing. Yes, with the custom theme of Easy Webinar, you can change out all the pages, all the you can change out the uh, the language. And in fact, if you want to request um, to put in a request for certain things to change out based on your language, we will do that for you. Okay, we will in fact 
do that for you, okay? Just so you are aware. Um, and uh, but the cool thing is, you can change the CSS for any for the custom theme. You can add your own logos. No other platform has that level of customization um, where you can have all this cool stuff um, added to these pages. Okay, is Easy Webinar secure, confidential to use for private one-on-one -on -one financial consulting sessions? I.e., no one else can see or hear information shared. Uh, that's a great question, Harland. And the answer is yes. Um, right now, as I said, we're running this through YouTube Live. The cool thing about YouTube Live is you, you can set this stream to be private. And what I mean by you actually set it to unlisted. So it won't show anywhere except on the page of Easy Webinar. And the only people that can come to the page of Easy Webinar are the people you invite that register. Or, <clears throat> excuse me, or they can click on, excuse me, a. Uh, a one-click registration inside your email, which would auto-register them for this event so they don't even come to the registration page. Like I could have done that for everybody um, that was that's on my list. I could have just simply said, click here, it'll automatic, automatically register you for this event. <clears throat> it would bypass the registration page. You'd be sent to the thank you page where then you'd come into the webinar and it could just be you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, now, you could also invite people into the live uh, conference room as well. So with easy with with YouTube Live, uh, we have ten. Uh, we have uh, you can have up to ten people in a conference room where it's just you guys, right? Where it's just you guys. The only time you would want to stream out to a larger audience is if you were say streaming out to an audience that's maybe watching all of you guys in the live conference room, right? So you can have a live conference room where everybody's talking, maybe have up to 10 people. I could invite you guys in here if, if, you, if you wanted me to. In fact, why don't I, why don't I do that? Um, why don't I invite some of you guys in here uh, and, and you can copy, and you can then come into the room. Again, remember, I'm, I'm, I'm going up here because that's where I'm looking. Um, and, and that's how you can do it. So is easy women are secure? Okay, so you need a branded YouTube channel, correct? Do you need a Gmail account because Google Hangout? You need Google, You need a Gmail account. When you have a Gmail account, you have a YouTube account. And inside Easy Webinar, we have a direct link that will send you into YouTube, excuse me, where you will then create the, of your event inside YouTube Take the URL that you just created and put it into Easy Webinar, and then you have all of your chat and all of your offers right there. Okay, does that make sense, Annette? Hope that makes some sense to you guys, right? Um, so that's that's how that uh, in fact works. Um, okay, Bernard just came in. Welcome, Bernard. Why would a person need both 5.0 and WebRTC, or need to pay more if they already have the lifetime plan? It's a little confusing. I just purchased Easy Webinar last month. Um, you don't have to get the lifetime plan. You already have Easy Webinar, and you get Easy Webinar five, and you get booped, bumped up to WebRTC. You don't have to get the lifetime plan. The only reason, if if you want to get the lifetime plan, the only the benefit is this: um, you uh, will remove your next year's payment. the The other benefit is that you get access to my training program called Elite Webinar Mastery, which the people that go through that program have speed up their learning around webinars in general. Um, and that's what you get. There's a lot of bonuses that come along with it as well. So it's essentially if you want to cancel your payment, so in the future, you don't have to pay anything. Uh, you don't have to pay next year's payment. You simply just now pay the additional um, uh, uh, payment and you'll get access. But you, and if you're already an existing customer, don't get this uh, lifetime option. You don't need to. Um, you, you have no need for it because I have a link that I'm going to send existing customers. If they do want to cancel their next year's payment, they can do so. And they get access to my Elite Webinar Mastery, which sells on its own for $2,000. And, and of course, um, that's it. That, that's the benefit to you because you're already someone who's paying on a yearly basis. Okay. You, so do you understand? Now you're asking, the other thing is why would I need WebRTC and 5.0? There are two, the, essentially here's why. Um, I just want to give you more options of awesomeness. So this tool can do unlimited webinars, right? You can have an unlimited number of people coming to your webinar. The WebRTC option is, uh, has a limit to how many people can stream in. Now, 
don't worry, it's not confusing in terms of, well, wait, when you offer both, is it gonna be weird? How do I figure out which one I wanna use? Don't worry, you don't have to worry about that, okay? That's our job to just give you the ability to choose which one you want and then boom, you're, you're using it, okay? On a normal circumstance, you might be the person that just uses WebRTC for the new version. And I have to let you know that this new version isn't out yet, okay? It's not out yet, and it, it might not be out for the next two months. Um, so just be aware that, uh, that um, it's, not, it's not something you have to need or think about or worry about now. Um, look at it more so as if you want to create a lifetime opportunity to come in, and get access to my Elite Webinar Mastery program, that's what you get. But if you're an existing customer, please don't buy this package because I have a link that I'm gonna be sending out to you guys if you wanna get access to it later on. Okay, uh, great answer. Can I still record that one-on-one -on -one session if it's private? Um, yes, it's all, it's all being recorded right now. Everything is being recorded right now. I don't have to do anything. All I do is click Start Broadcast and it automatically starts recording the event, that's what's happening currently. Okay, is it possible to use URL forwarding to fully customize easy webinar links? Of course, you can have a pretty link uh, that redirects to an easy webinar registration page. You can use uh, bit, bit.ly to redirect to a registration page. Um, yeah, absolutely, I would always suggest doing that. Uh, how about those of us who bought in uh, bought in early in easy webinar journey and paid once if you paid once and you're a 4.0 member not a 3.8 or, or earlier but a 4.0 member you automatically get upgraded to easy webinar 5 which you have in your account now this is easy webinar 5 it's in there currently okay and james is someone who bought you know uh the the lifetime opportunity I think maybe a couple of years ago. So it's been two years since we've actually had something like this and we're ending it tonight uh, for new members. So no, you know, we're not gonna have a lifetime access to any new members um, uh, after tonight. So just be aware of that. Um, I meant subdomain forwarding. Oh, I see what you're saying. Using our live, uh, our live uh, URL. So we don't have that, but, because, but we do have this. You see, Easy Webinar historically was a WordPress plugin. And as such, as a WordPress plugin historically, um, you had the opportunity to you do all the webinars from your own WordPress site. We are literally the only platform that has a, a super high level of, um, of, uh, of uh, features and analytics and um, kind of a robust system that works with WordPress. Now, because we work with WordPress, that's great, but at the same time, there were a lot of limitations that kind of had been hurting us because we are held to the restrictions of your own uh, WordPress site. So let's say you have outdated plugins. Let's say you have a shared server with uh, very little bandwidth. We were finding that our customers um, that would get a lot of people coming to their webinars, you know, they they and use and using share a shared server, they didn't realize that their everything was sent from their own server. So what that so so what that meant was, um, they were they were completely bogging down their server because they couldn't handle it. So that's why we created this new version, uh, which essentially is self-hosted by us. So we don't have to deal with the WordPress issues. However, there is still an opportunity for you to push every webinar with Easy Webinar 5 from this version, the, the uh, Easy Web, the, the live self-hosted version to where you can uh, push it into your own WordPress site. So that's what we have currently. Right now we don't have uh, a subdomain forwarding necessarily, uh, Nicholas, but what we do have is the ability for you to take a webinar that you create in our self-hosted version and publish it, clone it and publish it to your WordPress site that you list out inside Easy Webinar. And then what happens is a plugin is downloaded, you add it to your own WordPress site, and boom, now you have a, uh, a webinar that's streaming uh, from your WordPress site. So does that make sense? But it's not streamed from our, um, our system at that point. It's not hosted by us at that point. So technically, no, we don't have a subdomain forwarding at this point. I hope that makes sense. Um, what other questions do you guys have? Any other questions? Um, now I was going to go in 
Um, now, does anybody want to come into the room with me? Does anybody want to join me uh, in the room? And we can kind of see what that looks like. Anybody? Bueller? Bueller's? Uh, Casey, do you have a booking calendar scheduler uh, recommendation that integrates with Easy Webinar? So, you know, the thing is, with Easy Webinar, you can have any booking that pushes out, um, say, a an option to to uh, to get on a call with you. Now, I'm not sure, Diane, if you're saying uh, an API based booking. So, let's say maybe you're asking, and maybe you sent an, a question on this earlier that um, you want someone. Let's say someone gets on your calendar. Automatically, you want to add them to a webinar. Is that the type of integration that you're talking about? Or are you talking about you invite someone to a free webinar? On that free webinar, you have them uh, click a link where they can then sign up on your calendar. That's very simple. And that, of course, we can integrate with any platform. But we don't have an API integration where when someone signs up to, a, uh, to get on a like a 15 minute intake call with you, they are immediately pushed to a webinar. We don't have that, uh, but that's a great question. Uh, maybe we'll do something with that. That's actually a pretty brilliant idea um, where we might, that's something we could probably do with Calendly. I love Calendly, that's the one I use. So that's probably the one that I would integrate with first. Um, but uh, let me give you guys this link here. Hold on one second. It uh, looks like it's a bit long, but click on that. Let me know what you see when you click on that. Let me know what you see when you click on that. I'm just looking back here because I'm uh, I'm, I'm looking to see if someone's uh, coming into the room or not, because that's where I can look. Anyway, that this so that is kind of what you're going to be getting with Easy Webinar. I hope some of this makes a little more sense, uh, so you have some clarity as to what you're exactly going to be getting. Um, but uh, this is this is how the functionality works um, with the offer. So let me let me actually push this offer. So now you should be able to see uh, the easy webinar offer as well. Right now, currently, right right inside of the uh, of the page itself as well. So if you see that again, what ends tonight is the lifetime option of easy webinar. That ends uh, that ends tonight. Okay. Um, I see some folks that came in the room. Hello, Diane. Hold on, let me bring this down. Uh, that ends tonight, okay? Um, Hold on. Hey, guys. How is everybody? Well, thank you. Good, good, good. I can hear you guys. Can you hear? Um, let's see, let me turn this down. Let me see, can you, can you hear uh, Diane okay? I can hear you guys. Can you hear? Um, is that on? My, I think that's on your side, Diane. I think. Um, I is it my, like I'm playing the video in two places? Yeah, I think you might be playing us, uh, or unless I'm playing me somewhere else. Um, oh, I am. I'm playing me somewhere else. Sorry about that. That was my bad. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Um, so, welcome. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. Uh, where are you? Where are you coming in from? Saskatchewan, Canada. Oh my goodness, Canada! My, I, I really want to get to Banff this year. Oh, it's beautiful. Is oh, it? it's yes, absolutely world class. But cold, yes. You know, it can be plus five one day and minus thirty five the next, so you don't really know. <laughs> nice, nice. I like that. Beautiful winter or summer. It's ski, lots of skiing in the winter. Gotcha. Nice. Yes. I love skiing. I grew up in Michigan. So, you know, I was right near kind of the, I was right, right near a, a Canadian border, uh, Windsor, you know, but, uh, yeah. um, so let me ask you, what, what is your business? What do you do? I actually am a spiritual life coach, uh, nice. a cash record consultant, and I'm building my business through moving into doing webinars and then, uh, wanting to build a membership platform for my courses. So. Cool. Um, so now do you have courses already? N not, no, I do more just live coaching and stuff like that, but I want to actually go to a coaching program. Cause for example, just give you an example. I had a client that I worked with and I did a lot of content one day. And at the end of it, I thought I could have taught 10 people 
20 people, 30 people, that same information in one period versus I'm doing individual clients. So I want to move to a group, more of a group platform. So let me tell you um, how I first started, actually, uh, how I first started doing coaching was I thought, you know what, instead of me creating my course. So, so when I first started out doing kind of online stuff, I created my first course. It's probably around 2011, 2012. I spent six months creating a YouTube course called YouTube Revealed. And, you know, it, it took way too long. Uh, it took longer than it should have uh, taken to create it. But that was my first experience with creating anything. It was a membership based platform. I used Wishlist uh, for the membership site. Um, and I use Optimize Press as well combined together. So I was using all WordPress stuff, right? Combined together. And I was running my, uh, running my webinars. Um, so, oh, sorry. And I was, I was, I, I created my membership. Now, the only way I was ever able to sell that platform was through webinars. Um, so when I, when I first started doing webinars, I was terrible at doing them. I was really trying to, I was struggling, trying to figure out how to streamline them. But the, the cool thing is that I could still make money from them, even though I was maybe going off on tangents or sharing too much information. I mean, it was just, uh, it was something that people allowed to happen, but I can tell you the best way for me personally, um, when, you know, after in hindsight, looking at when I created that versus when I created different coaching programs, I would actually start with what I would call a boot camp coaching. Did you, you, you may have heard me say that and you might know what that is already. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, uh, we here, I'll go into a little yeah. detail. For you. Go okay. into a little detail. Okay. So let's say you create a four to six week, six week coaching program. Okay. okay. Four to six week coaching program, all about your, you know, your, your expertise. And you say, listen, I'm taking on 10 to 20 clients, uh, to, to go through this four week or six week program with me. Um, this is what's going to be happening for these six weeks. These are live classes that I'm going to be running twice a week. The first week is this class and this class. Okay. We're meeting at 3 PM on these particular days. And after we're done, you get the archive. Of course, the yeah. next week is going to be the, this day and this day follow, and, and the next week is going to be this day and this day and so on and so forth. Right. You get my drift. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So here's how I did it. I used easy webinar to run all of the, all of those classes. I invited my community into the classes. Okay. They could, they could watch from a, a page similar to how people are watching now, but then I would invite specific students in to work one-on-one -on -one with them. Um, mm -hmm. when I wasn't necessarily, um, sort of teaching, right? So one of my sessions on a, per, per week was just solely kind of teaching. And then I'll also kind of talking to my audience, to my, to my students. And then the, the next session during that same week would be a, a hot seat session where I take maybe one of my students and talk to them about their business. And then it really related to kind of everybody. Right. And, and, and everybody loved it. Um, and, and that's, that's what I did. I didn't, I didn't start with, a, I mean, you don't have to start with a membership platform. If you don't want to, you could actually pre-sell uh, a four to six week program. You could sell it on a webinar. You can say these are, you know, this is a live class. You're going to get live group experiences. Um, and, you know, we're, I'm charging $1,000 for this program. I'm looking for 10 to, you know, to 20 students. Put a cap on it um, mm -hmm. and, and see what happens. And, uh, and the brilliant thing about doing it this way, Diane, is that when you do it this way, you get uh, uh, almost, it's, it's like, it's like a litmus test. I can never say that word like it. This doesn't <laughs> say it right from my mouth. I don't know why, but you, you have, now you, you can, now you have sort of case studies. You have, uh, you, you can know if this course resonates with your audience from how excited they are during the program to how many people actually purchase. So what happens now after you do something like this is you see every video that we're seeing here, these are saved. They're saved inside YouTube. These are unlisted. So they're not pushed to YouTube publicly. These are, they're not shown on YouTube. So all you have to do at the end of each session is take the, the YouTube URL or take the easy webinar replay URL and give it to all of your students and say, Hey, if you missed any of the live session, 
here's a link. You can watch the, the archive. And here's what I did. Even when I didn't have um, a membership platform, all I did was I brought people into a Facebook group. Okay. All the people that bought, they got a Facebook group. And inside the Facebook group is where I sent all of my um, archived replays. Okay. So I didn't even, I did not even have a membership platform where they could go back to it. They just came into the Facebook group and inside the file section in Facebook group or inside just a post in Facebook group, it mm -hmm. would say, you know, week one, session one is live, here it is, right? And so now they'd have it, they, it'd be archived and they can go and watch it at any time. And you can use Easy Webinar to do it and also have links that maybe have, you know, your, your, your kind of, uh, if, you, if you give any, any um, sort of, um, resources during those sessions. So like me, mm -hmm. I'm a very visual person. So I love giving resources. So I give like, you know, like a, like a six step strategy guide resource from, for the students that come into my elite webinar mastery program, you guys that are watching right now, you can go, if you go to easy webinar and you go into that 1350 area, you'll see there's a link for elite webinar mastery. You can click it and watch some videos where you'll see why, students like the program and they like the program because I don't leave anything to chance. Like it's pretty, pretty much A to Z. And there are, there's a lot of resources, meaning that pretty much every lesson is going to have a document that they can download and look at. And half the time they take it and they put it on their wall right next to their computer because they want to reference it when they're doing whatever they're doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I would recommend to you. I would consider creating a boot camp using something like this for your fulfillment of your program. So you know how you came in here. This is exactly what I do to my with my coaching students. I mean, it's it's literally exactly what I do. I say, join me in the hangout room. Um, I can have only up to ten people in the room live, but you know, uh, and and possibly maybe all of them want to come in the room. But the good news is that they don't, you can actually say to them, listen, for, we're, we only have 10 that can come in the room uh, every single uh, session. So if we go to 20 or 30 or 50 people in this class, you still can watch live on the, on the page and you can ask questions just like you guys are, are you know, are in, uh, are on the easy webinar page asking questions now, right? Um, you guys are in there right now. So that would be you. And then I have, you know, maybe certain students that come in the room specifically that I want to, you know, as I said, put in a hot seat yes. session. That makes I, sense. I absolutely love that idea. I love it. I love it. It's almost formulated already. Good. So thank you for sharing that. I want to tell you that the video in here versus the one that was so it's so this is like crystal, crystal, crystal clear. Yep. Versus the camera that's in the other one is actually very grainy or when, you know how in the beginning we were saying it's very fuzzy. Yeah. I, here, here's when it gets fuzzy. Here's, here, here's actually when it gets a little fuzzy. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. See, now if you go back to the page, it actually doesn't look, um, it doesn't look that fuzzy, uh, right now, but it's because it's us in front of, uh, in front of the camera. When you start to share your screen, is when it gets a little is when it gets a little grainy right yeah um and, so clear right now for you yeah right? and, and it's sometimes when you're making the transition too um but the thing about it is that when you the, the tech this technology is is amazing on a, a lot of different levels because you can you you can you have a resource where you're not held to having to pay, uh, you know, go to webinar prices for a platform that can do things that are even better than uh, go to webinar, you know, obviously with recorded webinars and things like that. But the brilliant thing about this is that it, this platform is free to use and, um, and it can have unlimited people showing up. And of course, beyond that, it's, um, you know, you're never going to run out of bandwidth because it's hosted by YouTube and Google. So there right. are those elements that are great, right? Some of the elements that are, you know, that, that they're still getting better with are some of that streaming. Um, as I said, because I'm not, 
streaming um, on my through my Ethernet. I'm not hardwired in right now. That could be a cause as to why sometimes uh, the stream doesn't look as, as clear as it could be. So I always recommend to somebody not to use Wi-Fi to actually stream in live. Now, as I mentioned, this WebRTC platform, there will be a couple things that are beneficial about it that beat out sort of this platform. Two of the, those are, it's there's absolutely no delay, which technically right now there's about a seven second delay. So the people on the, that are watching from the page, it's not totally, totally tr uh, obvious. But more importantly, the WebRTC platform um, streams in a, in a better way, right? It's not as, as you just said, blurry, um, especially mm -hmm. when you're sharing your screen. Uh, obviously, when we do it this way, where I'm in front of the camera talking to you, it looks pretty clear. Now, what I can do, let me actually do this. Let me actually share um, a, uh, a presentation. And you can see how the presentation actually looks. Because a presentation is going to be kind of also a different medium. So uh, hold on one second. Let me actually share uh, my second screen. OK, there we are right there. I'm sharing. Mm -hmm. And let me click, let me click play, and then you can actually you can actually go to the page to see kind of what that looks like. So um, right now um, I'm sharing that uh, screen, so you should see that screen. Um, let me know if you see my full uh, easy webinar screen. That's that's what you should see right now. Yeah, the, little, the, little, the easy webinar across the. the yep, that's what you see. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's exactly right. Um, okay. Just so can I up. ask you a question? Yes, of course. When you're doing those, that like as you suggested, that just doing that boot camp live, for example, can you take that video afterwards and say, let's say you were having a particularly good conversation and that you could actually capture portions of the webinars and then create like another webinar out of it that would be like a sales webinar where you would have those people speaking to you? Um, absolutely. So your, your question is, could you, could you kind of create, um, you mean like almost like a video, right? Is that what yes. you're thinking? Yeah. So you've done your boot camp, and there's some really good parts of it that you could pull out and then blend it into one, you know, say four or five minute kind of a sales video. Um, where, and then you can edit those. Do you do that in Easy Webinar? Is that based in the YouTube Live platform? Yes, that, so that would be in the YouTube Live platform okay. um, where, so how, this is how I would do it. All okay. of these videos are saved in YouTube. So what you can do with these videos is you can essentially download them from YouTube and put them onto your desktop, right? Or, or bring, them, you know, bring them onto your computer mm -hmm. and then put them through a video editing tool like okay. Camtasia yeah. or ScreenFlow. Okay? okay, have you heard of those two? A Camtasia I have. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and by the way, I have training on that. That's actually part of the bonuses that we give away, um, our training on that. Um, that's uh, like create a highlight video for a marketing short yeah. video is what Rob said. Yeah, ex yeah. exactly. That, that's, that's what I would do. So whenever I, I mean, that's a great, what you've just said is awesome. So what I do when I'm doing my testimonial videos for my students, um, sometimes I just take clips of our coaching session together yeah. where they tell me, you know, how they, what they feel about the program, has it helped them? And that becomes a testimony, first off, a testimonial video, okay? But also, uh, it becomes a clip that you can add, yeah, to an automated webinar. I don't know if you saw my automated webinar, but inside my automated webinar, I do the exact thing that you just said, where I show uh, a video at the end of my, uh, of my students uh, on a testimonial reel. Right? It's a reel that I put together, but really I just brought them into a Google Hangout like this, right? Uh -huh. uh, which becomes a YouTube video afterwards, after I stopped the broadcast. And I took that video and I downloaded it onto my computer and I essentially just uh, put it into my editing software and chopped it up to where I could roll in a bunch of different um, testimonial reels from my, uh, my students. Now, if you can't do this yourself, you can go onto Fiverr and someone can create it for you. But absolutely, the, the beautiful thing about doing one-on-one -on -one coaching is it's an opportunity for first off to find 
uh, find out how someone is doing with their results. So, um, you know, when I, it, if you go, I, I mean, I, I could maybe even show you an example of this, but um, for instance, uh, one of my students, Marsha Ramsland, she, uh, she came into a coaching session and, you know, on the coaching session, she was like, you know, this has opened my eyes, has been super helpful. Um, I've already had results. I've already, you know, uh, after, you know, a week of being in this program, I ran my first live webinar and made uh, $5,000 in sales. You know, so she was telling me this and I was like, great, that's, you know, and the beautiful thing is it's all being recorded. Um, right. And she knows that I, that I was going to use it because I let her know. Um, but then, yeah, then I take that and I put it into a, a testimonial reel. So for sure. Is that what you mean? Yes, by... that's, 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 that's what I mean. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I can say without a shadow of a doubt that one of the best ways uh, to make sure that, you know, your products or your coaching sells. Um, oh, you love Marsh, Marsha's book. Oh, awesome. Annette. Um, yeah. And did Marsha send? Marsha may have sent some of you guys. Um, but yeah, the best way to essentially sell your coaching programs or sell uh, anything is to make sure you get results for other people. And the nice thing about those coaching pro those coaching sessions is you have one on one time with those people where you are helping them and 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 they they will tell you um, you know results that they might be getting. It's the fastest way to go. Uh, in fact, a boot camp is the best way to not only get testimonials, but not only build a course before you have it ready, but actually have testimonials ready for it to go um, when it, finally when it's over. So do you see the point of what I'm talking about here where the boot camp is a way for you to pre-sell um, your course, get students who then can become case studies because of results they have, and then take all that content that you already did with all those people and now put that into a membership site, which then becomes evergreen. Does this make sense? Yes, very much. Now, now you have the case studies um, and all it takes is five to six weeks where you're working one-on-one -on -one with these folks. Craft, you know, cra you probably already have a crafted course in your brain. I know it. I can, I mean, yes, you know, when I, I looked at you, I was like, she's got her course already ready to go. Yeah. I could tell. So just do it live, you know? And even if you'd say don't have slide presentations, you know, maybe you don't have a slide. Um, you know, slides are great because slides, obviously, you know, you can convey quite a bit of information. I, I like to use slides for a lot of my stuff. Um, but if you don't have a slide, some of the best ways to connect and engage and teach is just you and that person one-on-one -on -one in a session together, right? And, you know, that whole concept of, of the webinar is that it's one to many. So now that you're in this room with me, I get the benefit of, of, of talking to you and maybe helping you with any business strategies, but everyone else gets the same benefit too. Do you see that? Absolutely. Do you see how yeah. that? Yes, That's, very much. And it's so helpful for them because now they're like, okay, well now this, this really helps me to know what I can do. Um, and it, it, it's really a powerful medium some of my favorite ways of doing it. I, I recommend it a thousand times over. I would always suggest doing it this way, um, especially if you're just starting out. So, so you can see, obviously, I, I, I was just gonna say, I'm sharing my screen. Mm -hmm. This is my PowerPoint presentation that I do to talk about webinars, my experiences with, web, with webinars, how I started out, you know, I was a coach. I was actually a consultant myself. Uh, I did video marketing. I was a YouTube consultant where I did video marketing for companies like Estee Lauder and Dell. And then I, uh, but my goal, I always had the goal to sell programs and courses online, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. <laughs> I was getting really good with YouTube, but I couldn't figure out how to actually sell my programs until in that last slide, one day I had the idea to actually make a video and promote a webinar from that video. So I was good with getting found on YouTube. So what I did is I, I created a promo video, which was pretty much scripted like, hey, are you an author, expert, coach, or consultant who's been uh, you know, um, lost in the sea of, uh, of steep competition out there? I'm gonna run a webinar where I'm gonna teach about how you can use YouTube 
SEO to get your videos ranked to find more of your audience in a faster way, right? So I did that. And lo and behold, I was actually able to actually get people registered for my webinar from doing that on YouTube. And, you know, fast forward, you know, uh, like about 12 months after I started, you know, had this aha moment, I had uh, built a list up of, of about 14,000 people, like an email list, and I sold about $245,000 worth of my course, YouTube Revealed, right? And so that was my first bit of do, using webinars, but I struggled for years trying to figure out how I was going to make money online, and this was the only way that it, that actually worked, doing webinars. Um, but the thing is, you know, I was terrible at doing webinars when I first started out. <laughs> And it's the truth. I was a rambler. I was an oversharer. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I, I'm like, I want to like, I get so excited that I share so much yes. that sometimes I think it overwhelms my audience. But here's the deal. Even doing all that, my audience still would buy from me. And the biggest reason is because I'm building a no like, and trust. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm already perceived as an authority because I'm doing the webinar about a topic that I resonate with, right? Now, yeah. if you guys pick up the 1350 license, which of course is the lifetime license of Easy Webinar, as I said, it includes my program Elite Webinar Mastery, which that is a program where I teach all of this stuff. I teach about how to create a high converting sales webinar. I teach about boot camps. I teach about um, uh, what I call the four steps to the event launch blueprint, which is running a live webinar, uh, running a, what I call a rebroadcast or an encore webinar, mm -hmm. and then doing a timed replay, and then putting it all into an automated webinar. And that's essentially why Easy Webinar was built in the first place, to do all of those four things, okay? Um, it was built because I've always, wa I've always wanted a tool that would do it, and I knew how to do that in the past, but the problem was that no one was, no, I, there was no tool that would intuitively do it for me right? I always had to have five different tools. Like I was doing it with GoToWebinar, but then I had to hire a virtu uh, like a VA to kind of help me with that. Mm -hmm. And I then had to take a replay and put it into, um, you know, lead pages. And then I had to take that video and put it into an automated webinar platform. And then, you know, I had so many, there were so many different tools that I had to use. That's why we decided to create Easy Webinar because Easy Webinar is an all-in-one tool. You don't need all those other tools to be able to do exactly um, the best way to essentially promote with a webinar. Um, that's why I was able, you know, to be, that's why I've been successful even, you know, back in the day when I was terrible at it to, to make money or earn revenue from doing webinars. Um, and, you know, that's, that's, that's the, the thing about it. I've, I've been able to actually also beat out you know, other people on leaderboards, you know, when I remember when I was pr promoting a, a big affiliate called, um, his name is um, Mike Keenings. I don't know if you guys know who Mike Keenings is, but um, I was promoting Mike's product and I got on the top of the leaderboard, okay, for, for his program, which was essentially, I think, all about like live casting, right? But the whole reason I was able, the whole reason why I was able to get onto uh, on the leaderboard is because I used what I call the four steps to the event launch blueprint. Okay. okay. That's essentially what it was. Um, so anyway, you know, that's the thing about it. And the thing is, there's a lot of misconceptions around webinars that you need a fancy schmancy PowerPoint, you need a kick butt microphone, you need a studio quality camera. Um, and you need to put yourself in front of the camera. You don't always have to do that. Uh, you can essentially just do what I'm doing here, which is through a PowerPoint presentation, right? That actually that actually brings a question up for me. Do you know, do you find there's any better results or, you know, engagement by doing a combination of this with some live? So you're talking, that you're live, then you put up some slides, you're talking, and you're bouncing back versus just having a straight slide presentation with voice? I can tell you what, what my experiences have been. Yes. How about I tell you? So yes. sometimes when you just do a PowerPoint presentation, uh, there is a level of authority that's there, but, and I'm, I'm going to say this, see, 
the one thing that's not there is the human connectivity, yeah. right? The yeah. human connection. So the, the, the difficult thing is how do you convey and teach while at the same time have that human and interpersonal connection, right? That's the difficult thing, right? So what I tend to do is sometimes I even, I start with me in front of the camera, just sort of welcoming people kind of in a sort of pre webinar warm up where I just talk and communicate and talk, talk to you about what we're going to be sharing. I kind of create an expectation of the, of the actual event itself. But then I, I say, you know what, we're going to go into some slides. I'm going to share with you a bit of content and then we're going to come back and we're going to ask, and you, you have any, if you have any questions, you can ask me, right? So, I, I then will sometimes switch to slides during the body of the webinar and the body meaning the actual part where I'm, I'm teaching and training, right? right. Um, now, th that, that really works well for generally a webinar that, that where people don't know you because, you know, a webinar is a first chance to kind of meet someone and build a rapport. It's almost like, you know, speed dating, Right. You know, what they say is it takes like five to seven touches for someone to purchase something from you. You need yeah. to be able to connect with them that many times. Well, a webinar can put that sort of on a, on a faster pace because the webinar itself, you have an hour worth of time to engage and connect with someone on two levels, the heart level and the logic level. And the slides are there to kind of help with the whole kind of quote, quote unquote logic level of webinars, meaning, or, or yeah, the logic level, which is, you know, they're, they're connecting with, okay, this does make sense. I'm being validated based on what I'm learning, but that you still need the heart because the heart is why people buy. Yes. That's why I always recommend having your story, showing who you are, if you can, you know, you don't have to put yourself in front of the camera, but I can, I can honestly say that if you've given a level of education to your audience, you know, let's say you run a, an automated webinar. Okay. I know I'm talking a lot, but I, you got me on, a, on, on a kind of on a roll. Okay. So, so I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot, just let no, me know. I love it. Okay. 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 So let's say that you, uh, let's say you do an automated webinar and mm -hmm. on that automated webinar, it does the teaching for you, right? It does the teaching for you. Mm -hmm. The second webinar that you do, you run it live as a Q&A with you in front of the camera. Now, here's the thing. I can say with a, without a shadow of a doubt that that is one of the best ways to not only provide the education, but then provide the connectivity to your audience at the same time, or, or rather in a, in a kind of a phase two, right? Um, when I, when I've done launches before and, you know, gotten on long, long webinars, my most successful webinars have been where I'm speaking in front of the camera and looking into the camera where they can see me. And, and I mean, that's, that's it. The more engagement, the more energy and the, and engagement, the, the better they do. And, uh, but if the audience doesn't have an education around what you're speaking on, then it could be almost like a premature um, relationship, if this makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So they need to get to know you first. And, you know, that comes from a couple different levels. As I said, you can, you know, meet them and greet them, you in front of the camera, but then go into an education point where you're sharing your slides, or you start with a slide presentation where on that presentation, you kind of, you kind of share who you are, but you, you, have, you have an actual arc to what they're learning, right? So, you know, like, like for mine, my webinars, they teach about who I am, but they more importantly uh, teach about um, how webinars can help my audience. It's not so much about me, but it's more about me as it relates to my audience, right? So mm -hmm. like I would ask my audience, you know, if you, wanna, if you went on vacation today, can, can you honestly say that it wouldn't create more stress than enjoyment? Is this you? Because this was me for a long time. You know, I had, I had those same stresses. I wasn't sure um, how I was going to create a scalable business online. Um, I thought that I was always, you know, I thought first I wanted a scalable business, but then when I jumped in, I was working 16 hours a day on my mm -hmm. business, right? So I was like, wait a minute, this is not what I had in mind. 
But that's when I found the power of automated webinars and webinars, which is the one to many rule, right? One to many ratio. It yeah. leveraged my time more. Automated webinars leveraged my time way more, you know, than, than just live webinars. Live webinars are awesome, but you can get burnt out. And, yeah. you know, the way my webinars work is I talk about those scenarios, but I talk about those scenarios as it relates to my audience. So, so here's, you know, here's where I share about me. I make it really super short, right? I say I started off as an actor because I did. I then moved into real estate because I hated being a broke actor. I came online around 2011, 2012 as a YouTube consultant. I founded Easy Webinar in 2013, built a seven figure software company um, around that time. Well, 2014 is the first time we, we were able to hit a seven, had seven figures in the business. And, you know, been featured in Business Insider, Entrepreneur, Social Media Examiner, and more. But initially, it was not easy for me. Um, when I was making a transition from, uh, from real estate, you know, I had a decent job in real estate, but I was in real estate when the market crashed, the recession hit. Mm -hmm. So I went from making like $250,000 a year to $15,000 the next year. And I almost lost my house twice. And that's when I started to think, you know what, I need something else. I need to do something else. So that's when I thought, you know what, I'm going to look for leads online. And I was looking around trying to figure out how to build leads online for my real estate company when the first thing I, I looked at was YouTube. And so that kind of got me, first off, back into my passion of kind of acting because mm -hmm. it was with video, right? And which, which now today has taken me into a different medium and, and world now because now I don't have to be an actor because I went into acting because I wanted to create an emotional response in someone, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I wanted someone to feel cathartic about what I created. But now I get to do that in the software and the training because it legitimately doesn't just give someone an emotion, but actually can change someone's quote unquote life. I know that sounds corny yeah, to I, say, but if, you, but if you think about it, you want your programs, you want what you have out there to help someone change their, their life, their financial life, whatever they're looking to do, you know, with their life. And so now I don't need to be an actor because I get, I get to experience those, you know, in a very real emotion, real format. Do you know what I mean? I very much do because I think that's actually why this is all unfolding for me because it allows you to be so authentic in how you are in your work. And then the result is that people are being helped by it. It, it, exactly. And you don't have to, you don't have to be somebody you're not. And, you know, as an actor, we're always like, you have to be, you have to portray somebody. Well, the beautiful thing about just being you and, and a medium like this is that you just be the best you possible. Um, and inside my elite webinar mastery, I talk about this because I, I wanted to write a book at one point called like the stutterer's guide to public speaking, because I personally feel that your best you if you have a particular quirk where you might, you know, stutter or whatever, right? You don't have the best, you might say, um, and ah, you know, I feel like that's you. That's your imperfect, beautiful self, you know? And a lot of people, unfortunately, will teach someone to that, you know, when they're, when they're going to be speaking in public to kind of put on an air with their voice and, you know, just do a lot of fake stuff where, you know, I think the power of this medium is that you can read at the actual person, you know who they actually are. There's no faking it. You can't fake it, right? And, and, and also, if you see someone who's not like real, you can tell, you can tell when someone's not real. And that, that's the beauty of being able to connect with your audience. You're connecting with them and you're knowing, you know, who they are. And maybe, you know, they're telling you about their lives a bit more, so. I have that a lot when I first meet a client that almost inevitably within the first two or three minutes, if not immediately, one of the very first things they'll always say is because I do video is they'll say, I already feel like I know you. Exactly. And that's the, yeah. why they had that comfort to actually then come to work with you. And they, when they'll share in a very open way in a much faster way too, because you've actually been live in front of them. Yeah. As so a real person. This is exactly right. You see, video bridges the gap of impersonality found on the web. Um, but webinars, webinars is the kind of the next evolution because it's live yeah. video, right? Yes. Now, now, an automated webinar, albeit is not 
live, right? It's, it's pre-recorded, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But it's still engage. It's still engagement because um, you have an opportunity to create your kind of your best show, your best webinar that has engagement. So my automated webinars, you know, immediately I say, hey, welcome to this event. I'm, gonna, I'm super excited to be sharing this with you. Um, let me know where you're from. Go ahead and put it in the question box. Uh, this is going to be about an hour long event. So I have this perfect way to kind of create the, the, um, the scenario, right? My, as I said, my perfect show where I can deliver to them, you know, the workbook that they're supposed to have for the webinar. Um, I can set up the expectation for them. And, and, they, and, and truthfully told, some people would prefer to go to my automated webinars rather than my live because, you know, I, I, I'm, I cut to the point, I get, I get really succinct and clear and, uh, you know, it's kind of a full, a full blown thing. So, but it's the, it's the same concept, you know, it's the same, it's the same concept. I want to call, I really like your feature of, if I'm understanding it correctly anyways, of being, having that automated webinar, but being able to go do a live Q and A, am I understanding that's a feature? So let's have. assume, yes. So let's assume. I, I really like that idea. Yeah. Let's assume you run a, you know, you let your automated webinar run, right? Mm-hmm. Um, there is a, what's, there is a redirect feature where at the end of your automated webinar, let's say your automated webinar is an hour and a half and you stream it out at 2 PM on Thursday in your time zone. Well, at the end of that webinar, you know, it's going to end at 3:30. Um, you can redirect all those people into a live chat room where you're ready to go to answer their questions, right? So it will automatically push them in to a, a, another room where you can go live essentially, right? Okay. Yeah. And, and that's, it's really great. Now, the only time you wouldn't use sort of a hybrid where you go from automated to live is if you're doing an automated webinar um, as an evergreen webinar, meaning that it's, you stream it multiple times during the day, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, and not only that, uh, you set it to recurring and to stream in your attendees own time zone. So, you know, because, you know, you're in Canada, so what time is it for you right now? Uh, 9.20. 9.20, so let, you know, because you and I are, I mean, you and I are pretty close to the same time. I mean, you're in central uh, time. I'm, I'm in um, Pacific, but the people in the UK, you know, they can't come to this webinar because it's, yeah. it's in the middle of the night for them, I think, or yes. it's early morning. Yeah. So, hours, yeah. yeah. So because of that, the way I, the, the automated webinar is great because I can set to stream it multiple times during the day in my attendee zone time zone. So they don't have to worry about having it come to a, you know, a webinar that's in the middle of the morning or I'm sorry, in the middle of the night or early morning before they're awake, they can see it at the convenience of their own time zone. So that's the power of, that's the true power of an automated webinar. And actually what you're seeing right now is Dale Partridge up here Mm -hmm. who actually he came in and within one month he made $16,000 using easy webinar and you'll notice i want you to point point this out that he said using the strategy he said that at the top of this if you guys can see that and that's Mm -hmm. what the thing you have to understand is that an automated webinar is a strategy it's a strategy for sure Mm -hmm. but but uh but the cool thing is that uh, nine times out of ten um software and products out there aren't strategy-based systems and the beautiful thing about easy webinar is um, the, that is that's that 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 this program essentially has been built to be a strategy system. Okay, and so it's pretty incredible that he said that because I was like, well, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, all, all I did is I he said, Casey, how do I? How, what's the best way to set this up? You know, the scheduling, and I was like, all right, here, this is what you want to do, and you know. To him, this was a sixteen thousand dollars uh, you know, strategy. To me, it was simply, you know, changing a couple couple things on the schedule because I've, you know, I've been doing this for a long time and I've seen thousands of customers and I know what works and what doesn't when it relates to how to perfect an automated webinar. So, after one month, he made a hundred thousand dollars with Easy Webinar. So it was, it was pretty cool stuff. Um, and actually, I the, the reason he's saying I'm so humbled over here. 
because I introduced him to a couple people to get him on, uh, on his podcast. So, um, but no, it was automated webinars. Um, and I, I, you know what they are, right, Diane? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so it's a pre-recorded uh, webinar streams in real time. Um, as I said, you can stream it in your, in your own attendee's time zone uh, or your time zone, okay? So you could do it as with a look and feel of, of a single one-time event in your own time zone, but the true power is when you set it to automated um, and have it run evergreen. And, you know... I have clients from, from all over, all over the world, so... Yeah, so it makes sense uh, to be able to stream it. And the thing is, people love it because it's a medium that teaches. And a lot of people sometimes get, think that, oh, well, this won't work for, you know, real estate agents or lawyers or service businesses or, or universities, colleges. But in fact, it, it would, it, and it does. You see, this is a way for, for you to educate somebody before they even become, let's say, a buyer, and it gets them that much closer to becoming a buyer because now they've gone through and taken this program. They've gone through this application. I want you to think of it like, um, like a learning management tool as well because when, uh, let's say you run an HR company, right? Or let's say you are the HR person at your company and you need to make sure that the people at your company are actually consuming uh, training videos. There is no way to do that where you just say, okay, watch this training video, right? You, you don't know if they're watching it or not. But with our system, you can first off see if they register. You can see how long they're watching that presentation. You can see if they download anything or make an action happen mm -hmm. during that webinar, such as like clicking on a buy now button or download button or I just took this test button. And if they don't, you know, of course, who is, you know, who's your good employee versus your not good employee, right? Yeah. yeah. So just see how you could apply this to your own life and business because now you can say to your students, listen, I want you to go through this training. I can see when you don't go all the way through. I'm keeping you accountable, all right? I want you to take this test. It's going to show up during this presentation. If you don't see the exam, if you don't see it pop up, that tells me that you didn't stay long enough to watch yeah. and see it right? So there is a way that you can create um, a level of, a, you know, it's almost better than just creating um, a, a membership site, right? Because a membership site, the videos are there, they can come in and watch them anytime. But if you create an experience, a, um, a, an event that they have to come to, that they will get documents from, and that they have to do homework with, it is far more engaged. Mm -hmm. And the be beautiful thing about if you do that boot camp, like I suggested, Diane, mm -hmm. you could actually turn around and put all those people and turn around and make all of those webinars automated and then send your audience through those automated webinars. Okay, now here's something super cool. I'm just gonna reveal this. In this next version we're working on, um, this next version we're working on I am, we're creating what we call, what we're, we're effectively calling live course. We're calling it a live course. And it's essentially the ability to uh, create, uh, to create uh, a series of webinars that someone registers one time for that will then, you know, auto register them for all of the sessions. And now you can teach your boot camp where they only have to register once and they'll get the notifications to each and every other future event. But not only that, we're creating it so you can create evergreen courses as well with webinars. So like a webergreen, a webergreen, a <laughs> webinar, an evergreen webinar course, which means that they register for one time, they register one time, and they'll get a series of automated webinars sent to them based on the time when they registered or came through initially. Now we're going to make it to where you can actually um, have a payment gateway to charge for this uh and 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 it's and essentially it's kind of you know quote unquote kind of like a live course but you right. can create it ahead of time so it has engagement of live but with you without you having to be there and you can track what people are doing during the course itself right that's so, awesome. yeah so to me it's almost like a cooler way 
a cooler way to, to, uh, uh, to do a, a course rather than just sending people into a membership platform. So. Yeah, this is sparking all sorts of ideas yeah. as to how to move forward. Cool, cool, cool. Well, thank I'm, you so much for your time and all of that information. It's of very course. Much I'm glad. Thank you for, uh, for, you know, coming through and, and uh, being a, being sort of a guinea pig on here. I, re I appreciate you. It's for part coming of in. my stretching exercise. <laughs> What's that? Part of stretching. That's, stretching that's right. That's right. Kind yeah. of like, exactly. You're, you're yeah. so right. It's kind of like just letting yourself kind of grow. You know, I mean, part of the, the brilliant thing about doing this stuff is that you, you learn and you grow, you know, and that's, and that's really what it's about. So, so thank you. Thank you for coming in. Um, you can, you can of course stay if you want, or you can, uh, uh, very easily, um, leave simply by, by, by just, um, uh, exiting, uh, exit, exiting out, but then you can still be in the room watching and listening. If you okay. Want. Thank okay. you. Thanks Diane for coming in. Really You're very it. welcome. Okay, so thank you guys so much for being here. I can see we're at about an hour and a half. Uh, let me just see what um, uh, where we're at here. I was wondering if there was a setting from Casey in order to keep chat offers on screen. Uh, yes, you. there is a setting where you can have your chat and offers on the screen at the same time. Absolutely, a absolutely. Um, when uh, Casey, when someone buys the 497 or higher package, the website says you get lifetime upgrades of Easy Webinar. Can you explain exactly what that entails? Thanks. Yeah. So Rob, there will be an upgrade if you do come through right now at the uh, 497 or 577. Um, you can uh, you can come in to uh, do the the lifetime option. Uh, it's split up into uh, three payments. So so technically. If you came in right now from the from the sales page, you could do it at thirteen fifty. But if you wanted to not pay all of the thirteen fifty now, you would pay four ninety seven or five seventy seven plus three hundred dollars now, and then next month month three hundred dollars, and the next month after that three hundred dollars, and that would lock you into the lifetime option of Easy Webinar. You get the future version. You get access to my uh, Elite Webinar Mastery Program as well. And, um, and you'd also get the benefits that we were mentioning before on the 13 that come with, with the 1350, which is, uh, which I can actually share on my slide presentation if you guys want, uh, which includes some really cool stuff here. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just share that with you. Um, hold on one second. Okay. We're going to share second screen again. All right. Okay, so um, you have a few different options here in terms of pricing if you're just uh, starting out here, right? First off, um, we have the ability to come into Easy Webinar at four ninety seven a year right now. Okay, that includes lifetime access to the entire Easy Webinar suite of features any future updates we make and the ability to run unlimited webinars to an unlimited number of attendees. Okay. That's what you get when you come through right now. Now, um, the two options that we have are you can get, as I said, the 497 license, which is a yearly license where you get all of those bonuses. You get uh, the unlimited live webinars, unlimited automated webinars, unlimited attendees, live offers, chats, automated chat features, um, advanced analytic dashboards, evergreen replay pages, and various webinar templates and funnels. But you, we also have the ability to get the 577 a year license, which essentially is um, where you get a commercial license as well. So that means you can have up to five uh, additional sub-user accounts, okay? A sub-user, essentially a sub-user account is someone gets their own login. You have up to five different people who get their own login 
to easy webinars. So that could be your virtual assist assistant. That could be your best friend. That can be your uh, business partner. That can be a couple of your clients. It could be all of your clients, right? Where they have their own login, getting access to their own easy webinar that has unlimited webinars. And you are the super admin. So you can be there to, uh, uh, kind of oversee all their webinars and charge whatever you want per month, okay? And that's the biggest difference between 497 and 577, right? And when you come in right now um, into one of these two uh, packages, I have a $1,900 bonus package for you, okay? As soon as you come into one of these packages, the bonus package includes the new YouTube series where I actually teach you how to set up a YouTube live stream and how to become a YouTube partner. I also show you two hours of screen capture training, how to use Camtasia and uh, uh, ScreenFlow. I use ScreenFlow because I have a Mac and I use Camtasia when I am on my PC. I have full unedited interviews with Rick Mulready, John Lee Dumas, Jason Caruso, uh, and you can hear their best tips on paid traffic, organic traffic, and live and automated webinar strategies for producing more income. I have also, which is really cool, a webinar presentation image bundle with over 250 high resolution quality images for your presentations, videos, and events. Okay, this is valued at around 297, okay? I also have how to get traffic into your business using LinkedIn from my buddy, Los Silva. Los actually started as a, uh, a person that did um, LinkedIn and now he's doing incredible stuff with building funnels out. Um, you also get training from Kate Buck Jr. Uh, who teaches all about Twitter. So I show you how to do uh, uh, lead generation with Twitter from Kate Buck Jr. So that's an audio, um, session that she and I did, that's valued at $97. And you also get launch streams, promo video and registration conversion masterclass. Now this is essentially where I teach you about using promo videos. Remember how I shared earlier that I, what I like to do is do a promo video and put that on Facebook or put that into YouTube. Well, you got to script it out the right way. And that's what this training is. It's a, it's a, it will teach you how to do this. But I also want to teach you how to become an awesome live streamer. So I also teach you how to stream like a, a superhero um, in terms of like what, uh, what equipment to use, lighting, camera, audio, how to speak in public, um, the, how, how to best uh, communicate with your audience, things like that. That's what you find there. And then you also get access to um, my our private members only facebook group where we're essentially solving much of the world's problems that's also what you're going to be getting when you when you come through so it's a total of 1900 dollars when you uh come through into the program uh but i also have a fast action bonus uh which is an hour-long training that will teach you how to create high converting webinar registration pages to get more signups and buyers okay and that's valued at 400 dollars and it's essentially an extra bonus while you're on this webinar, but it's it's also um, a bonus that you get till tonight, okay? And and that and that's the 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 twenty three hundred dollar package that I'm going to be rolling out to everybody who gets the four ninety seven or the five seventy seven license. But beyond that, I also have the um, the license, which is the lifetime payment for thirteen fifty. And by getting lifetime access for 1350, you get all of what I just shared with you. You get the commercial license of Easy Webinar. We cancel your next year's payment so you don't pay any, any more into the future. You also get access to my Elite Webinar Mastery Training, which sells for $2,000 on its own, but now it's yours as a, 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 the, the system itself, the complete system itself is yours when you take action. And you get a one-on-one -on -one strategy call, which is valued at $750. So this total bonus package is $3,290, $3,290 that you get access to right now when you come in. As I said, you get the uh, additional bonus of uh, free webinar strategy session when you do come in. And like I said, that's a $3,290 uh, value in terms of the bonuses, right? 
And so you can come in now, get access to that. You have till midnight tonight to get that uh, lifetime access to uh, Easy Webinar. Okay, you have only till midnight tonight. And just so you are completely clear, we do have a 30 day money back guarantee. Um, if you can't work and get your webinar set up and, and we come in and we try to help you and we can't, we don't have success, we will give you your money back. Now, um, when you do pick up the lifetime license, because you're gonna be getting access to a live session with me or one of my, um, one of my team members, and you're gonna get access to my training program, Elite Webinar Mastery, which part of that program, we are gonna be doing some uh, live training um, as, we, as we push on here in the next couple of weeks. Because of that, uh, you have to, in order to get a 30 day money back guarantee on that lifetime option, there is some homework that you would have to do in Elite Webinar Mastery. But once you do that homework, right, you can get that 30 day, um, 30 day money back guarantee. Okay. So you can get your money back. Uh, but th there are certain things you have to do. There's certain, uh, homework pieces and they're not difficult, but it tells me that you've at least attempted to go through elite webinar mastery. And that's how I can keep you accountable because I have to respect my time and your time and my team's time. So I can't just offer a 30 day money back guarantee on something that essentially is you, our time being invested in you personally. Just like if you if you put your time into us, it's an equal representation of respect and um, and value. So, so that is that. You can come in right now, easywebinar.com or from the page itself. Okay, so you're on the page. You should be able to see uh, on the page, right? And you should be able to come on in. Now, let me let me finish this up and bring myself back on camera. One second. Okay. And let me go in and um, let me come into uh, into the live session here. So um, when is the expected live date for WebRTC? So the expected live date for the WebRTC um, is going to be happening. Uh, we're hoping in the next couple months, right? We're hoping in the next couple months. Now, um, and that if it gets fuzzy or difficult to read, sometimes it takes some time for the uh, for the live stream to kind of link up and sync up. And sometimes it's it's all it's also your internet connection as well. But just be aware of that. Um, so let's see. I was wondering if there was a setting in order to keep chat and offers on the screen. Yeah, there you should have the chat and offers on the screen. Uh, let's see. Mouse over the bottom of the click the box next to the run timer and speaker full screen. Oh, you, I see what you want. You want to be able to go full screen and still see the chat. Um, no, at this point, we don't have that capability. You would have to uh, minimize the screen again, uh, minimize the screen to be able to see it. But you can go full screen if you want to check it out and then come back in and chat. You just minimize that and come on in. Now, maybe in the future, we'll change that around. I like the idea, but we'd have to see if we can have a floating sort of second uh, second uh, like bar that shows just those the chat and the offers. Yeah, pop out for the future. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm at home, I know it's my connection, but it's good to know um, what to say to my students. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, you know, what you should say when anything is sometimes blurry is say, um, hey, it could be your internet speed. Uh, if you have a, a, fa a slow download or, or upload speed, that could be it. If you're watching from a hotel, that could be an issue. Um, now, if the person that's putting on the webinar isn't hardwired in, like this guy tonight, sorry, then there could be issues, okay, as well. So it's something, yeah, it's something you definitely wanna maybe mention to your audience so they're they know what to expect when, when those type of deals happen, right? that makes sense. Um, okay, well, listen, are there any other questions that you guys might be having? I wanna make sure that you guys are crystal clear on what we have here. How many of you are not customers of EasyWebinar? I wanna just really uh, understand how many of you are EasyWebinar customers and how many of you are not EasyWebinar customers? Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to get in a kind of an idea 
Um, and what's holding you back from becoming an easy webinar customer? I'd like to answer those questions. Is it that you're not sure of the technology? Maybe the technology seems like it might be overwhelming to you. Maybe you understand live webinars, but you don't quite understand automated webinars. Um, uh, maybe, um, you know, you are, you know, maybe you're not sure of how to integrate it with your, um, your own autoresponder. You know, there's so many different things that might be a thing for you that would be stopping you. Maybe it is the money. Maybe you just can't afford the entire, uh, program itself. And that, and that's totally fine. And if it is, then you shouldn't pick up the program. You should, you should wait till you're in a position to pick up the program. Okay. Um, I always say that I want to make sure that my audience, um, they understand, you know, they, they, you need to be solvent first, but you have to understand that this tool is here for you. But again, as I said, just make sure that you can afford something like this before you put, um, your time and attention and money into it. I'm not the type of guy that's going to go tell you to like leverage your home to go buy my product. I would rather you feel comfortable and get to a point where you are ready to make the investment because you can. Now, if you can make the investment and you don't because you're still buying products that are sort of inexpensive or cheap, you know, like a $47 webinar platform, that's just not going to be, that's not going to be overall the benefit that you're, that you're looking for. But coming into this program, especially with the elite webinar mastery coupled with it, it will speed up your learning. It will get you to where you need to be. And you'll also get one-on-one -on -one kind of coaching with either me or one of my team members. And the power of that is that you have accountability and, you know, we're looking to make a success out of you. So our goal is that, that you take action. So if you're someone who's will take action on something, if I, if I say, or my team says, do this and you say, well, yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. Then you'll, then you'll have results. I mean, if you go into any of my program, if you went into elite webinar mastery right now, uh, there is video on there that literally is from somebody who said, you know what Casey said to do it and I did it and it worked. That's it. But the biggest issue is that you have to follow through with what we say. Um, if you already purchased the 577 this week, can you get the three pay offer? Uh, Diane, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Uh, just, to, oh, uh, yes, yes, we should be able to do that. Uh, just the calendar suggested for the booking that integrates with you. Okay, cool. Uh, not Nicholas, not. Okay. All right, guys, got, got you. Good. So, you know, the idea is that, you know, if you're still unclear about automated webinars or maybe unclear about how the easy webinar works for the live, uh, well, as I said, that's why my coaching program is pretty robust and, and creates a lot of clarity. That's the whole point of it. That's the whole point of that program. Um, so if you do me a quick favor, go to easywebinar.com. I want you to, as soon as you go to easywebinar.com, click on the buy now button, which will bring you down to where it says 1350. Oops, sorry. Where it says 1350. Under that, under 1350, there's a link where it says Elite Webinar Mastery. If you click that, you'll be able to see what Elite Webinar Mastery is, and you'll be able to see some case studies from the people just like you who've come into Easy Webinar as well, okay? Just as an FYI. Uh, another thing I could actually do is, uh, hold on one second. This is the video that goes out to people um, after they, uh, after they come in to, uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, into elite webinar mastery. Uh, I think this is it. Especially these webinar five. Let me just make sure. All right, you made it. Congratulations. Okay, cool. So here, I'm going to give this to you. Okay, so uh, so you guys can see it. Now, can you click on that and let me know if it's uh, private or if it's a uh, if it's public? Actually, I'm going to see right now. Okay, let me click save. All right, now it should be public. So go ahead and click that video. 
And this video essentially is what we're, what we have um, kind of in the back end. If you were to come through 497 or 577, it is uh, an upgrade option where if you can't and don't want to do the 1350 from the sales page directly, you could purchase 497 or 577. And uh, yeah, try to click it again, Diane, then you'll be able to see it. Um, but what it will do is it will show you that you can uh, still get the lifetime option, including Elite Webinar Mastery, but split into a three payment option instead of having to pay just the lump sum. So you'd pay your three, uh, 497 or 577 plus an additional $300 there. And then next month you'd pay 300 and the month after you'd pay 300. So that, that's how that works. If that makes sense. Okay. Um, and, uh, and Diane, I know that, you know, you were, you were asking, you know, can I still come in and, uh, into this? Uh, and the answer is yes. I'm going to have links that I'm going to send out to all the existing easy webinar customers, um, very soon, where if you did not pick up the lifetime option, um, we are still going to give you the option to do the lifetime option, uh, in this, in this, th uh, three pay option way. Okay. You'll essentially see this exact video and then you'll have the opportunity to come in or not. It depends on if you want to get the lifetime, get uh, enrolled into elite webinar mastery. And it, that is not contingent upon what's finishing tonight at midnight. Okay. What's finishing tonight at midnight is, uh, the ability to get the lifetime option for brand new customers. So if you're a new customer, not an existing customer already, you have to make a decision if you're going to come into the lifetime or not. Now you don't have to make that decision tonight. Um, well you would, yes, to get the, the 1350. Yes, you would after tonight, that's going to be gone. So then you, but you'd still have the ability to come on through and get easy webinar for 497 or 577. Okay. Just as an FYI. Um, now, yes, those prices are all every, all the prices are going up, especially when we roll out our web RTC, but at the moment, that's what the pricing is. So you are able to get that even after tonight, but what closes tonight is the opportunity to get the one-time payment for lifetime access to easy webinar at the lowest price possible. This is something that we have not offered for two years, but we're offering it now. So, all right. All righty. All righty then. Um, you guys, thank you so much for your time. I'm going to get going, but again, I hope to see you on the inside. Come on through if you're ready to come on through. Um, I would love to see you on the inside, the calendar you suggested for booking that integrates with easy webinar. Um, it doesn't yet, but you, you, I mean, here's the thing you can, I could send you a calendar link right now during this webinar if I wanted to, but is that how, what you mean by integration? Or are you talking about an integration to where someone signs up for a booking and they're added to a webinar automatically? I need to understand what you mean by integration because we, we work with we work with any tool out there. We work with all autoresponders. We have a super deep, deep, deep integration with uh, Infusionsoft and Entreport, where we have advanced tagging. But we also, as I said, we have uh, uh, we have the ability to to uh, use any autoresponder, Aweber, Mailchimp, Infusionsoft, Content Contact, whatever. Plus, you can send off any link from a, a webinar to a calendar or to a, uh, an intake form where someone can sign up for a coaching program with you, right? That's, that's what you can do. So no, we don't have a direct calendar booking to where people would register for a webinar and would add them to, uh, to a calendar, but, but it's a pretty cool concept for sure. Or rather if they added to it, would you rather it be, they added to a, they're added to a calendar and by doing so they're added to a webinar as well. Uh, we do have a contest domination integration where, um, you can pass through a name and email, uh, directly. Now here, here's a, here's a workaround. I'm going to give you a workaround, Rob. Okay. Here's a workaround. Ready? Ready for a workaround? Here's a workaround to using any calendar link. Someone signs up for a web for a calendar time with you. The first email that goes out is through your autoresponder, let's say, right? Saying, thanks for signing up to the calendar. That first email can have a one-click registration 
an easy webinar, one click registration where they click on it and it bypasses the registration page and now they're registered, but they would have to click it in that first email that would go out after they sign up to your calendar, if that makes sense, right? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So anyway, that's it guys for me. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching, listening, uh, being a part of it. Um, again, there's still 9, 10, 11, 12, there's still four hours to pick up um, the uh, full lifetime license at 1350 that gets you immediate access to Elite Webinar Mastery and you get access to Easy Webinar 5.0, the upgrade to our new version after that when we have it. Um, an intake call with me or, or someone from my team and along with some other cool bonuses as well. So I hope to see you on the inside. Uh, you guys all rock. Thanks again. And uh, let's chat soon. I hope to see you there, okay? Whether you're, um, whether you're in or not. If you're on the fence, just decide one way or another. That's really the best strategy. You just, you make the commitment and you go, or you say, you know what? I'm not gonna make the commitment and that's fine. That's fine. I hope you at least learn something from today. Okay. That's my goal. I hope you at least learn something. You found some bit of knowledge in what we talked about today. Make sense? Thank you, Diane. I really appreciate it. Uh, Nicholas, I'll check on that. Did you just sign up just now? Nicholas, when did you sign up? Just want to check in. I want to also welcome some of our newer people that came in. Uh, Greg Roulette just came in. Uh, Jocelyn Murphy just came in. Welcome. Who else do we have here? Steve Lacey. Cornelia Sloniker came in. Welcome. Janet Finley came in. Kevin Clavert came in, welcome. Uh, Orna Greenblatt came in. Who else we? Gunther Esley came in. Samson Elizabeth came in. Welcome, you guys. Thank you for being on in the room. I really appreciate you guys being a part of it. Siggy Como came in. Um, AKC Fitness came in. Welcome. Oh, uh, what was the name under uh, Nicholas? Melissa Galt came in. Great, uh, Melissa. Alec Dorling came in. Justin Miller came in. Italio Castillo came in. Uh, George Mold Moldenhauer came in. Welcome. Uh, Jaden uh, Vecchio came in. Who else do we have here? Uh, Amina Khan came in. Bernard Hirsch. Okay, I think I already said that. And... I do not see, I don't see you, Nicholas, N-M-O. I don't see you in here. Um, why don't I, I'll, I'll, let's connect up after the, did I say your name at all? Any of, uh, any of those things, did, did any of those names go through? Not sure. Uh, let me just check. Sometimes, sometimes if uh, your credit card doesn't go through, sometimes it's hard to get in, obviously. Um, and that could be what happened. Maybe your credit card did not work or go through. Um, let's see. Oh, no, here I found you. Uh, Nicholas uh, Moisette, right? So you didn't get, you. Uh, can you make sure you go in your spam and check your spam folder? Uh, but thank you for letting us know. 
if there's any issue with people coming in, everybody just let us know, okay? The best way to do it is just to tell us, um, I've got the receipt, but you did not get, let me just see if an email did go out to you, because uh, I can oftentimes tell. Um, yeah, oh wait, uh, it says login details included. It looks like you did get something coming out to you, um, Nicholas. It said you clicked it too. And it, and it went to Nicholas at moisette.net. You just did that. Yeah, well, that's where you create the login. That's where, you, that's where you create the login for it. In that email, it should have taken you into an area where you fill in the information to become a member. Did it take you into that? It should have. We have a couple people buying right now. Let me see who else is coming through. Welcome uh, to some newcomers that are just buying. Let me see, because I, I get the notice on my phone. Maybe you, you could hear it like ring. Yes, but for the course. So you did get it for the course. You didn't get it for easy webinar yet. Is that what you're saying? Because if that's the case, that's, that's okay. Please give us a, a little bit and we will, we'll, we'll get that going. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. No, no worries. We'll make sure that you get that. We give us 24 hours because here's the thing. The 1350 license is not something we had automatic where it automatically sign you up to easy webinar. We're having to go in and add you into the system. So we're asking that everybody give us 24 hours so we can add the 1350 folks into the system, right? The reason we did it this way is because this is not something we offer all the time. And so it's not automatically in there. Um, but that being said, my guys did say that they kind of set it up to send out. But if you're not seeing it, then we'll go in and make sure and double check. We'll go through every single person that does have it. Um, so give us, give us like till tomorrow to reconcile some of those. Uh, Annette Gia Kamazi came in. Welcome, Annette. Thanks. Thanks, Nicholas. I appreciate it. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you. Everybody who's coming in still. This is great. I really appreciate you coming in. Jocelyn Murphy is in. Cool. Awesome. All right. That's it for me. Thank you. Thank you. I always say thank you. I say two thank yous. Anytime I say thank you, I don't know why I say thank you. Thank you. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I, th I think it's that, that commercial, like something, something. Wait, what was that commercial that said that? I, sorry, this is where my brain starts to be like, from up here, what is he saying? So, uh, pizza, pizza, that's what it was. It was the the old uh, Pizza Hut commercials, pizza, pizza. Is that, no? Am I too old? I'm probably too old. Cheers, cheers, Rob. I think that's what it is. Cheers, cheers. Oh, cheers, cheers. Yeah, maybe that, that could be like a cheers, cheers. Uh, not quite sure. Um, sorry. Yeah, but that that's 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 just that shows the level of weirdness I I have. Um, I'm the type of guy that loves to quote like '80s movies any chance I get, um, and uh, and or uh, so '80s comedies are like literally my favorite. And my wife like hates it when I do it, but I'm always quoting it. So um, so oh, and by the way, the other thing I wanted to mention is that for everybody who is signing up, we're going to be doing all those intake calls. Uh, those intake calls are going to be happening um, not before Thanksgiving, but after Thanksgiving, okay? Looking forward to receiving the email for existing customers. Awesome, and yes, expect it. We, we, we didn't have time to set it up right now. I do have the page ready to go, and some people who have reached out to me just like you're doing now, we, we did send the link out to those, those individual folks who've been asking for it. Excuse me. We didn't mail it out, though, yet to existing customers. And so, uh, but we've had an enormous response from existing cu customers to be able to get access to it. Um, so that's why we're gonna be sending it out to you. But I did wanna mention about the intake call. So there's not gonna be time for me to do this and me and my team to do this before the holidays. We're gonna have to set it up after the holidays. But here's something I just heard today. I don't know how many of you know, but um, my wife and I, first off, A, we're pregnant. So Diana's pregnant. She's six months pregnant. But we're also adopting two boys from Haiti. We've been in the process for two years now. And we finally today, finally today, this is kind of like a tearjerker moment. Finally today, we got our approval, uh, our IB, IBSR approval, 
which means we can now go visit them for a nurture trip, which we've been waiting literally a lot, about a year and a half because we've known that these two boys are the ones we're adopting. Uh, we've been waiting a year and a half. So we're finally going to be going there. Um, or at least I am because Diana is pregnant and there's a Zika outbreak in, in Haiti. But if I go, I might be going, and this is just something I heard learned today. So if I might be, if I go, I might be going from December 7th to like the 21st. Okay. Um, now if I have calls to make, I'll probably do it while I'm there as well, but that's where my team will also come and help out too. Um, now whether, and, and, and the other thing is the goal is to try to get a lot of the calls done if we can before that time. So thank you, Aunt, um, Annette. Thank you, Anne. I really appreciate it. Uh, Danella. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Diane. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Um, uh, oh my congratulations to your family. Super lucky children to join your family. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be good. My wife, I mean, this is, so, you know, we never, we didn't decide to adopt children because we, um, we had fertility issues. That wasn't the reason my wife has always wanted to adopt. It's actually been her first choice. Um, so we had started that journey before she got pregnant, but it's been, it would take so long, uh, that, you know, we were just ready. And, and so we were like, you know what, let's try to get pregnant. We got pregnant immediately. And then this started speeding up. So, or the, uh, the adoption started speeding up. So it's just an amazing thing how all of it kind of comes together. So by next year in 12 months from now, I think I'm going to have three kids. I'll have a little girl because Diana's pregnant with a girl and I'll have two, uh, two young brothers, their brothers, uh, that'll be joining us too. So it's going to be pretty incredible, but I'll let you know how that unfolds just so you are clear on it, because I want to make sure that, um, we're making sure that we get on that, that intake call with you. We have quite a few calls to make is the thing. So we'll be sending out calendar links really soon to schedule those times in. And I hope that we can get everybody in before that time. If we can't, please understand that someone either from my team or myself will be with you, but we may have to wait till I get back from Haiti uh, in between, you know, Haiti and Christmas and then after Christmas. So is that, if that's okay, I just want to make sure that that might be okay with you. Um, but that, that's going to be the, the scenario that we're finding ourselves in. Okay. Thumbs up to you. Thank you very much for coming. I keep looking down here because this is where my, I'm, I'm, I'm reading your comments, although I could be reading your comments uh, from the page here directly. I'm not though, I've been looking down here. Um, and I would be reading the comments right here, but this screen is broken, so I can't pull my other computer monitor or other screen over here to see what you're talking about. That's how I normally like it. Babies come first, but webinar is December 1st. Okay, I, I, I hear you, Annette. We're going to try to get everybody in. Okay. Uh, and again, here's the thing you can cut, you are coming into easy webinar right away. So, you know, you just need to get up to speed on how to do it. And, you know, there's going to be, first off, elite webinar mastery has some training on it, but, um, we're going to be running some workshops as to how to use, excuse me, easy webinar for all this stuff. So I'm going to probably do a training, uh, session for everyone who's coming in. Um, now we do have some emails that, that automatically go out. There's an onboarding process after you become a customer of easy webinar. One of the onboarding, uh, emails sends you to a training webinar. Now that training webinar, we have to switch out because that's of easy of the old easy webinar, but it still shows how to use easy webinar. Um, but what it doesn't show is how to use kind of the live that we're in right now, right here. Okay. So this, we are adding additional training, but Jim, who is our, our, uh, head HD guy or head, um, you know, sort of help and support person. Uh, he has already made some good videos that will show you how to use this stuff. This is a, a pretty easy set up, set up. Uh, you just have to jump in, start building out your webinar and then try to do your live webinars, you know, run a live webinar, run a test webinar. Um, you know, run a couple of test webinars, just feel it out, invite your friends to it. Um, have them come in and en enjoy the conversation with you as well. Okay. That's it for me. Much love to you guys. Thanks for coming in to all those who have come in. Um, I really appreciate it. I can't wait to take this journey with you. 
um, it's it's going to be an exciting, fun time. So so let's let's really rock it out. And I will see all of you guys very very soon. Thank you so much for coming in, and uh, we'll chat soon. Okay, bye bye. Have an awesome night. Adios. Bye. Bye bye. Now you should be uh, directed to the Easy Webinar page.